All right, it's time to start another project. This one's a pretty exciting one. It's a 1976 bay window van. Actually, it might be a 77 or 78, I'm not sure. But anyways, it's a bay window van. It's a full Westphalia model. It's uh, one of the better years through the 70s because it's later on where they had fuel injection and uh, they changed some of the interior parts of the Westphalia. So it actually has the fridge, stove, sink arranged in a way that's more attractive, more like the 1980s Volkswagen Westphalias. The pop top or the pop top goes up, and there's a bed up there. Uh, let's take a look at this thing. It's going to be a big project. Uh, I like the color combo. It's kind of a creamsicle look. Definitely is a piece of shit. It looks like a semi-solid piece of shit though, so that's good bones hopefully to start with this project. Nevertheless, it's going to need everything from uh, engine rebuild to sandblasting, interior paint, everything. The top's got the fiberglass sticking up, so if you rub your hand on it, it feels a little bit hairy because that gel coat is gone. Uh, the UV probably beat it down so you can feel the fiberglass on top. There'll be some work there. The body all in all seems pretty solid. There's no real through rust except for uh, a lot of surface rust inside too. And it smells horrendous. If I could uh, allow you guys to smell this somehow, yeah, it's not pleasant. It's full of rat crap and it's been wet, so it just it's, uh, it's pretty bad. You can see the rats even ate away at the vents in here. So the, everything's going to have to be stripped completely out of here and reupholstered. I don't know if we can get this open. Uh, typical Volkswagen, the door it still slides good after sitting for like 20 years. Okay, so it looks like we have disorganized parts that are pretty beat up in rat's nests. Um, pretty gross but at least the floor on this side looks pretty solid some genius when they stored this thing left a deer lick on top of the cabinets in here like a salt block and so if you look behind the driver's side there's that uh pillar i guess you could call it and it's completely gone and there's a lot of rot over there because over the over time the humidity you know made that salt block slowly dissolve and then there was salt all over that part of the car so that would be interesting to dig in on. Let's take a look in the back here. Oh yeah, this looks like fun. So this car probably got towed around a junkyard or out of a ditch or something and someone's wrapped a chain to it. And when they wrapped the chain to it, uh, they pulled the bumper out and then the whole rear end and collapsed the bumpers in so it's damaged both bottoms in the back here. You can see where the bumper just came in and gouged out that whole backside. So the best way to fix this is I'll probably go to a junkyard with a generator and uh, cut this backside out and we'll weld a new one in here. So yeah, more fun with that. And then this engine's locked up. So I tried to get it to budge. There's no point. I'm sure the pistons are completely rusted in the cylinders, or at least hopefully that's what it is. We're gonna pull this motor out and the transmission out take everything apart and uh, see if the thing's rebuildable because I'd like to keep it all stock. I'll, uh, I'll make some videos along the way and try to be a little bit better with this build. So I hit more on some of the details and points of rebuilding the engine and painting the body, uh, going with a little more detail than I have in my past videos. Let's see if this thing opens. Oh. All right. It's probably the best part of the van right here. The paint still shines. Got the, uh, everything's just kind of got that light coat of rust. There's gonna be a lot of sandblasting. A little more water in there, we can get some goldfish maybe going in here. And then uh, here's the seat. Looks like it was a nice seat until that mouse decided to chew in there. It's probably still in there. Oh, it didn't jump out. But uh, yeah, we'll strip all that off and reupholster it. This was actually much worse when I first bought this a while ago. It was so it was probably an inch of mouse poop inside there, and I cleaned it out once. Well, quite a few years ago, though, this thing's been sitting. Kind of had it sitting on the back burner for a while, just because I had easier projects to do. And right now, I've got a lineup of three vehicles to do. I have this uh, '70s van to do. Then we're going to do this uh, 65 Buick Electra convertible, which I actually bought for $500 and kind of cleaned it up. It runs, drives, and stops now. We'll bring it in. We'll do a full rebuild to it. 
And then back there we have a 65 Ford Galaxy convertible, but I'm gonna try and hold those ones off till spring. And I'm hoping to get this thing knocked out in probably the next two months. So I'm gonna be on it. And then on top of that, we have, uh, we're gonna make some videos of some of the products I've been developing. We've got Perch Potties, which is gonna be an interesting product we'll make some videos about. We've got my ongoing Beehive, Ben's Buzz Box, and um, I've got a three-in-one plant propagator that's pretty neat that I'd like to make some videos on. So I'm gonna work on this, I'll work on those, and I'll keep updating you guys, but I guess I wanna do a little walk around on this van before I start tearing into it. Like I said, I'm pretty bad about getting into the projects and not making videos. But we'll, uh, we'll take care of the rust on here, some surface rust, some body damage, and uh, yeah, should be fun. Well, more or less fun. It's gonna be some work. Hopefully the end result will be beautiful though. Got no doubts. All right, we'll see you guys soon we get this motor out.